kid's hat you're wearing? <laughs> I don't know if it is. Nintendo says a cool hat. You lied. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm CJR, and as always, I'm joined by. Game Rally! And today we are headed out to some garage sales. I'm filming this intro because I forgot to film it and Matt's already gone to work and we've already had a long, hot day of garage sailing. We found some pretty cool stuff, so stay tuned. This is gonna be a pretty good episode, not a crazy pickup episode like uh, that I find in May and June, but we found a pretty epic find today that you probably saw in the thumbnail. It's probably already been spoiled, but uh, stay tuned. We've got some amazing pickups. Let's go. Subscribe. Subscribe. How much for the uh, old game thing here? Twenty bucks. Did you do ten? There's no uh, power cords unless you have that. What's under that thing? That's a controller. Oh. Do you uh, have any idea where that is? <laughs> uh, <laughs> would you that would you take a look or I don't live here. She lives oh. here. Oh. I'm just here set up with it. Well, how about I give you would you do 15 and if, sure. if you guys can find that power cord can you leave your name right here? hopefully you guys saw that but made a just made a pretty epic pickup for 15 bucks awesome. got the uh turbo graphics with the controller it's in pretty good shape it's missing the power and um oh god i forgot the av adapter i forget how the av works on this thing it's just a oh yeah i think the nintendo one actually works on this just for like uh, the cable one, but it came with four games, good games. There's some good stuff here, but I, I got a bad feeling that some might not be in here. So let's quickly check. Okay, Matt's gonna hold the first one and show you, then he's gonna open it up and see if it's in there. The key cards, it's in there. Box of Venture, it's in there. Next What's one's that? a big one. Next one's a big one. Herbs in there. Sweet game. It feels like it is. Splatterhouse! Oh, thank God. <laughs> I just bought that a couple years ago. Who would have thought I would ever find a Splatterhouse at a garage sale? <laughs> and there's a spirit. Cool one here, Ninja Spirit. They all have their official cases too, so that might be, some of those might Not be upgrades. Not in there. Damn it. Oh. I think, do I have Ninja Spirit? Oh, Maybe you It's not in here. Uh, uh, well, been... wait, Ninja Spirit's the one that's like, I'm thinking of China Warrior. I don't know if I do oh. have Ninja Spirit. That's disappointing, yeah. actually. Yeah. All right, at least there was a Splatterhouse. I paid 15 bucks. She said she got a bunch of other stuff, so I gave her my number. Hopefully she can find the power adapter and uh, dig out some of the stuff that she mentioned. So stay tuned, but we probably will never hear from her ever again. Man, can you know Did you notice this? Oh, no, I saw pins. I want to get some. Man, oh, I did not want to get one. That's too close. There's a lot of, uh, Wonderland stuff. Yeah, these nice. retro. Yeah, I bought them. Wonderland. When you go on there. A China phone. You wouldn't, uh, <laughs> wouldn't happen to have any old video game stuff, would you? Like old uh, Game Boy, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, that kind of I thing? Don't, I don't know. My son's just putting the signs up there. Oh, okay. Now. I can wait for him. Yeah, it's trying. It's just putting signs up. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Look. Yeah, he's still cool. playing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, I, I see that. Got some cool stuff. Ted, can I get through here? Yeah. 
Okay, just made a few cool pickups at that sale out there. Surprisingly, he didn't have any old games, but lots of cool stuff. This uh, Texas Texas Instruments little professor calculator. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, a couple of glasses here. We've got a Mickey glass from 1988. I love retro glasses. Some really cool Pepsi stuff here. Uh, Pepsi Winter Wonderland. Diet Pepsi with some penguins. This is my favorite. This is amazing. Uh, retro Pepsi glass. Super cool. Uh, plug and play. Pac-Man. I've never actually seen this one. I don't have it. Teddy, you want to show your truck quick? I got this truck. A McDonald's. Retro McDonald's branded truck. Or somewhat retro, probably from the 90s. Want to see what I got? Uh, nope. I paid 10 bucks for this stuff. Check out... Um, yeah. Game Rally. Game check out... Uh, well, I don't remember your name. It's Game Rally. I thought you said you were going to change your name to Pezzophile. <laughs> oh, you jerk, you... <laughs> oh, you little jerk. Pez Pezzophile? Uh, I, I, I just should do a little tease. What? I did a little tea like just so quickly. Oh. I can't see it. Okay, so it's, uh, it's a quiet day. It, there, there's not a whole lot of sales out there, um, but uh, we're finding a few cool things. I also got a Wii for twenty-five dollars in the back, which is not exciting, but I couldn't pass it up for twenty-five bucks mm -hmm. with a balance board and a few games. I'll show you what's there when we get home, and we are moving on to the next sale. Mm -hmm. All right, just picked up this bin full of Blu-rays here. Paid 15 bucks, there's like 36 Blu-rays here. We're gonna try and do a quick flip on these at Microplay. So I'm gonna take these in, hopefully trade. I think they trade for like two bucks a piece, so it should be a pretty good flip. We'll see what we can get. A couple NES things, maybe some super stuff. I wouldn't mind that Power Pigs if we get enough trade. Virtual Fighter animation I need. Comfortable, Ted? <laughs> All right, just made a quick little flip. Turn those $15 Blu-rays into a Super Nintendo game. This is Power Pigs of the Dark Age. I think it's a platformer. It looked pretty interesting. And then Isolated Warrior, another game I've never heard of on the NES. Uh, 35 and 39. I have no idea if those are accurate prices. I didn't bother to check, but I turned my $15 investment into two games that I needed. Also picked up this uh, wired... 360 controller for three bucks at a sale and show them the trophy. Oh. I had to buy this. I don't know what I'll ever use it for, but pretty sweet trophy. It's actually in really good shape. It says Oktoberfest Scat City Hotel 1984. But I will turn that into some cool trophy that I'll use. It's actually all metal too. You could so. say something you did was make made bacon. Because this is good. <laughs> 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 I thought the same funny joke. Isolated bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Matt's going to work. Aren't Beautiful day to be at work. It's hot. Bye bye. Are you taking some of that garbage or what? Oh. I don't want to take that. Take your receipt. Here's I'm going to take your receipt. All right. Bye. Have oh, a good no. day. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Did show me the bye. Have a good one. All right, guys. Just made the final pickup for the day. Uh, went to a sale this morning. Asked if a guy had video games. He mentioned that he has lots, but he doesn't want to sell them. Um, so I, of course, always push. And I ended up that he had an N64. Um, and he let me come in and take a look. I said, would you let me take a look? And uh, I can make you an offer. We can kind of go from there. Went downstairs. N64, couple loose uh, uh, Super Nintendo games. The 64 had a couple controllers, probably three controllers. Um, and probably 15 or 16 games. So quickly on the spot, I'm like, I can offer you a hundred bucks for everything. And he's like, ah, oh, no, which I thought was actually a pretty good offer. And it turned out that it was a good offer because after I made the offer, I started looking at the games and it was like 80% sports games. So I was like, oh man, I kind of regret that offer. <laughs> Anyways, but I took a quick look at the Super Nintendo games, but I didn't think much about it. Um, and then as I left, I was like, I should have made him an offer just on the Super Nintendo games. So went back. Told him that we were coming back for a hot dog. I was chatting with him for a bit and um, asked him what he would do on the Super Nintendo games. There's four games here. I got him to do 30 bucks. So not a screaming deal, but um, some pretty good stuff here that I'm actually going to show you when we get home. Uh, we do have enough for an episode though because of this pickup. So you guys will see this video. I'll show you what games there when we get back to the house. And I picked up uh, four Blu rays for $6. I'll show you what those are when we get back to.
too. Ted, do we got anything else that we need to show? Um, we got some little truck there. Ted, you had a pretty good day. That's, that's Teddy's it. McDonald's truck. I think we showed that. That's it. So we're headed back to the house after a swim at my mom's and we'll uh, show you guys what we got. All right guys, here we are back in the game room after a pretty successful day in July. July is when garage sales kind of peter off a little bit. Uh, people are on vacation. The, the biggest months are um, May and June. So there won't be like trunk loads of video game uh, pickups much anymore, but there's definitely going to be some interesting stuff. And today is kind of case in point. Um, some really good stuff today, but uh, not a ton of it. Teddy, do you want to start with what you picked up? Uh, Go for it. Show something. Yeah. Quick. You gotta hurry. Double decker. Double decker. And that's like a, that's a British taxi cab. Yeah, taxi cab. And what did you pay for these? Uh, four. No, you would, they were free. The guy gave them to you. Free? You were going to offer him two bucks and he said you can have them. Yeah. And then what? You got this cool McDonald's. This guy had a bunch of McDonald's memorabilia. Yeah. Um, he had five bucks on this. So I got that for Teddy. I got this plug and play. Uh, Pac-Man plug and play that I haven't actually seen before. Uh, Jack's uh, Pacific. Actually not bad. This one's kind of cool. I kind of like this one. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if it's just Pac-Man or if there's other games on here. But pretty cool. That had five on it also. Um, this cool Texas Instrument Calculator, Little Professor. I, I do remember this. I don't know if we had those in school or what, but I thought that was kind of cool. I had two on it, and I got these retro glasses, which I'm really enjoying collecting retro glasses. I just got to make sure my wife doesn't put these in the dishwasher because she loves destroying things. Winter Wonderland Pepsi glass. This is a Mickey Mouse glass from 1988. Uh, I don't know if it's from Disney or what, but... Um, and then this one's a pe Diet Pepsi Penguin Glass. And by far my favorite, as I said earlier, is this Pepsi Glass. Look at that, Ted. Whoa. That is really cool. I love retro glasses. I'm going to have a whole cupboard full of retro glasses. That's what I want. Yeah. Uh, anything else? You want to show that quick? Yeah. I Another freebie the... for being cute and being a nice kid. People give Teddy stuff all the time. Andrew less, but for some reason Teddy gets all the free stuff. Okay, so yeah, all this stuff here. Sorry, that was um, not from this lot. Um, I think I gave, I got ten, got this all for ten bucks. So pretty good deal there. Pretty happy with that. Teddy got that truck for free. Picked up a well, as you saw in the car, a Blu-ray lot. Um, they originally had thirty for all. It was dropped at twenty for all. Matt and I were looking at them, and they came up and said, "I'll give you all of them for 15 So we actually took those straight to microplay those 30 35 i think they're ended up being uh dvds and uh paid 15 bucks and we traded them for these two games so we got power pigs of the dark age let me know if you've ever played this it looks interesting 40 bucks on that canadian of course isolated warrior for the nes one that i didn't have 40 or 35 on that i didn't check the prices i just Got them. I was happy to get them for that 15 in trade. Um, picked up another Wii. I couldn't pass it up. It was only 25 bucks. Uh, super clean. I'm sure it works. Yeah. GameCube will work on it, obviously. Can I show some people this video game? Sure. Uh, happy to see this. I don't actually have one with like the cardboard insert on it, so this will probably go on display. I'll get rid of my old one. But they didn't have the game. Do you know what that is, Ted? A um, controller or something. Yeah, there's a balance board here. We got this thing. A couple games. We play. Controller. We Fit Plus. Guitar Hero 3. Controller. Two, uh, two Wii remotes. Uh, 25 bucks. I, I couldn't leave it. I already have way too many Nintendo Wiis and they're definitely not moving. But, I mean, the Wii, like... This has got to become nostalgic at some point. I mean, these, a lot of these games are really fun, even just for Wii Sports. And it still plays GameCube games. So, 
I mean, there is some appeal to picking up a Wii these days, so I don't know. Hopefully, I, I like to try and hopefully get 50 bucks out of them, so hopefully I can do that. Um, made a couple pickups last weekend. I was at uh, Cottage Country, just kind of stopped at a few sales on the way up there. Let me come back. Hold on one sec. Mm -hmm. Ted, keep them entertained, okay? Okay. Sing a song for them. Okay. Maureen, mm -hmm. go. Then we moved to it, Larry, in the backyard of Corrine. Mom and a miracle. Mom and a miracle. Yeah. Oh, my. Good job, Ted. <laughs> so, made a couple little pickups here. Uh, the boys got a couple Nerf guns. I think I paid the guy 10 bucks. They got a couple Nerf guns. Teddy got a Speed Racer car, right? Yeah. And then I got these two games. Uh, this is Metroid 2, Return of Samus on the Game Boy and Earthworm Jim, so pretty decent little deal there. Then I picked this up. Uh, it's one of those Coleco Pac-Man arcade units. Obviously the box is not salvageable. Um, the system itself, or the unit itself, is in pretty good shape. Looks like somebody tried to peel back the panel here to open it up because I found out later the thing doesn't even work. Uh, it's in good shape though, I already have this one, and I paid 40 bucks for this, so Lesson learned for those of you that see like me pick stuff up and go and you're and some people I'll hear comments sometimes like oh you really should have given them more money I buy stuff quickly and it's untested I usually pay low because it's untested and I am taking a chance and here's one of those times where it bit me in the butt uh, they wanted they she said a hundred I was like ah oh, the best I can do is forty and her husband was like take it most most likely because he knew it didn't work so I'm getting nothing it actually came with this really cool I actually have one of these already. Um, it's like a Coleco battery pack, um, officially branded that actually goes with these. You, can, you could buy them separate. Came with a manual too, and it actually um, advertises that battery pack thing that you can put in the bottom. But I'm getting nothing at all from it. So I'm gonna try to take it apart. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna take this top part off and put it on the one I have, because all the stickers are actually really nice on this. But 40 bucks, I was desperate. <laughs> I wasn't, I stopped at a couple sales and I was gonna walk away, and I, I I did walk away, and the guy's like, "What's your best offer?" I'm like, 40 bucks." I assume they weren't gonna take it, but they took it, so that sucks. Uh, yeah, what's next here? Okay, on the way home, like I said, I went back to that sale. Teddy and I got a hot dog. That's why I said we were there, but really I was there to make him an offer hour from a hundred bucks for all those games. I said, would you do 120? He's like, ah, the more I thought about it, the less I actually want to sell it. I said, would you sell just the Super Nintendo games? I had an idea. I knew there was a Yoshi's Island. I knew Super Mario uh, World was there. Um, and I knew Genghis Khan was there. And then after the fact, I said to Matt, I said, I should have offered him money just for those because I didn't have Genghis Khan. And I knew it was either Final Fight or Fatal Fury that was left there. So I offered him 20, he said he said I'll do 30, he went in and got him. So 30 bucks for these four, not a bad deal. Uh, Genghis Khan 2 goes for I think like 26 bucks here in Canada. I needed it for the collection. Uh, I also needed this one, this is Fatal Fury 2 is what it ended up being, so that's kind of cool. I think that's uh, like a $15 game or something. But I'll keep those and I'll make my money back on these two. This is Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World 2. And then the original Super Mario World, which he told me is going for like 50 bucks, but these are going for nothing these days. You want to show those? You can show those. Right, here you go. Picked up some Blu-rays. Uh, me and Teddy. We got uh, Ray, uh, the Dragon the Trainer 1. Yep. How to Train a Dragon. Yeah. And we got that drain, How the Dragon Train a Dragon 2. We got this one. What is it? Guard mm. Field. No. Rise. Rise. That's Rise of the Guardians. Rise of the Guardians and Trolls. And Trolls. So some pretty good movies for uh, six bucks for the four. I'm buying Blu-rays. Teddy, you need new glasses, man. Those are so scratched. I'm buying Blu-rays. I may actually go hard on Blu-rays. I may actually start collecting DVDs and I may... I mean, I got my new stereo set up. I bought some new speakers. I bought some ELAC mm -hmm. debut two B sixes or something like that. Just cheap, but really good speakers. And I'm really starting to think that I might start buying CDs. I got that nice CD player and I've been listening to a lot of CDs on there. 
Uh, I might just go nuts on media and build a couple shelves and have some CDs and go crazy on Blu-rays and DVDs. Blu-rays and DVDs, I've said this many times, like, Netflix has gone to crap. Like, I just, I had a thousand movies, mostly DVD, and I, I sold them off because I'm like, oh, Netflix, I can just watch them all on there. But movies are, more and more movies are dis disappearing, and then, like, I'm, I want to go watch stuff, and I can't find it on Netflix, and I wish I still had those DVDs. So, um, yeah, I may start getting back into uh, Blu-rays and DVDs because they're dirt cheap uh we made a quick pit stop yeah. at my favorite european food store for for these again i showed you guys these a couple videos ago these euro cream yeah so yeah that's gonna give me diabetes oh yeah and i was i was happy to see this they had a nice big turkish coffee pot i, I asked for one of these for my birthday and my mother-in-law got me kind of a small, cheap one that's like already falling apart. I thought she'd know somewhere where to get a nice one, but turns out it was at the uh, Eastern European food store. Then this one's got, really nice. Then we got this uh, yeah. coffee. Turkish coffee. I asked her to recommend some. Not bad. This is like 20 bucks. Like good ones on Amazon were going for that anyways. And it's like three bucks for this. But this is a liter. This is what you get excited about when you're my age. It's Turkish coffee on a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. I love Turkish coffee. Yeah. Right, Ted? Right. Uh, picked up this uh, Xbox 360 controller. These are great for whatever. Um, PC, Xbox, uh, RetroPie. Okay, come over here and show it. Uh, all right, so approached this sale. Saw this sitting on the driveway. Uh, my, my heart dropped. Couldn't believe I saw it there. But it was a TurboGrafx-16 and a controller. And we got this controller. So if you saw in the video, um, I asked what she wanted. She said 20 bucks. I said, how much do you want for this old game system? I say that a lot. Uh, so people don't, people just assume I don't know what it is. I'm just like, oh, how much for the old game thing? Sometimes I'll say, um, don't want to reveal too much that I, that I know exactly what it is. She said 20. I said, ah, oh, there's no power cord here. I think I offered 10 and I was like, how about I, give you 15 and if you can find the uh, power cord give me a call I left my number she was rambling on about how much video game stuff they had at their house I left her my number and I'm hoping she calls back because that would be one heck of a call back uh, most likely I will never hear from that lady again but I'm just turning my phone off vibrate so in case she does call uh, but hopefully I'll once again, I'll add that into the video if I get stuff, but uh, you guys know how that goes. Uh, there were four games, technically three games. Can I show one? Okay. Yeah, you want to show? You can show them all. I'll read them for you. You stick them out there. So first up was Ninja Spirit. Uh, no game in there, but maybe she'll find it. But it's complete other than that, so pretty happy to get that because I have Ninja Spirit and I think it's loose. So, All right, that one is called Splatterhouse Ted. Yeah. I bought that a couple... Uh, I think two years ago, or traded for it. Okay. Careful, bud. Okay. Uh, Splatterhouse. Can you read that one? Uh. B O N K. B. B. O. N. No, K. Bomb. Bomberman. Yes, Tat. No. Bonk's Adventure. Still working on the reading. And the one that you find all the time is uh, Keith Courage in Alpha Zones. Yeah, so I mean, 15 bucks, can't complain there. No power cord and no RF. Um, I'll already know this, but I was gonna say, let me know in the comments below if there's another power adapter that, I, like if the NES one will work with this, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research to try and... I might even have one here that might work with this, but i got to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, good deal there. It seems like it's in pretty good shape. Let me see the controller here. Um, feels okay. I actually... Uh, pro tip, I've mentioned this before, but I replaced all the rubber in my controllers. You can buy NES replacement um, silicon pads, and they work in the turbo pad, so... If you have turbo pads that are in rough shape and are uh, not working, sometimes the rubber rubber gets brittle and just kind of falls apart. Um, NES replacement ones will fit in here perfectly. And that's it. That's it for today's pickups. I'm actually really happy with what we got today. 
Got yeah. some Super Nintendo games we need. Possibly a couple uh, cases and stuff. I'm not even sure if I have a Bonx Adventure case, so. Pretty happy to see that. Yeah. You happy with the stuff you got, Ted? Yeah. All right. Thank you guys, as always, for joining. Uh, much appreciated your continuous support on this channel. Uh, and until uh, the next episode, you want to say bye? Bye. bye.